Hello and welcome to another segment of Interviews That Matter. I'm your host Raj Mehta. Friends, in this segment we bring those guests who influence our lives. This includes elected officials, policy makers, heads of major organizations and other dignitaries. It is my sincere hope that the knowledge brought in by these guests will help our community. Today we have such guests. Judy Basworth, she is the supervisor of the town of North Hempstead. In town of North Hempstead, we have many, many Indian Americans live. Let's meet Judy. Supervisor, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking time this morning. Really appreciate it. Well, I yep. appreciate the invitation and we've been talking about doing this and I'm delighted that we are. Now, you're a pretty busy woman, I know that. You know, but taking our time for this, then you know they're definitely you know appreciative for your time. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. Right. So let's uh, talk about a little bit about your background and you know like uh, your political career. Let's talk about that a little bit. Well, my political career is interesting because I never intended to have a political career. So we can start with that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I grew up. My parents were immigrants. My parents were actually Holocaust survivors. Oh. And so. Hmm. Um, you know, I grew up always hearing mm -hmm. about what a great country this is mm -hmm. and how we have so much to be grateful for mm -hmm. because if it weren't for this country, my parents would not have been able to, to be here and, and I actually, I wouldn't have been born. Mm -hmm. um, and my mom always used to impress upon me that we needed to give back, that it was our responsibility to give back and so I internalized that and we, we were just talking about that a little bit before, you know, the show began. and. You know, I, I believe that by devoting my life to public service, as I have, and, and we'll talk about that a little more, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's my way of trying to, to give back. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I had a childhood and went to uh, Queens College and went to public schools before that mm -hmm. um, because mm -hmm. my parents were of very modest means. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew that if I didn't have a good public school education, I would not have had any education, which is one of the reasons that I've always been such an advocate for public education. That's the one thing that mm -hmm. um, provides opportunities for all children, regardless of their income, regardless of any of their experiences. If they have that um, ability to get a good education, then every door can be opened for them. Um, so I, and I actually became a New York City public school teacher. Hmm. I taught second grade uh, for a number of years before I had my children. Mm -hmm. And um, I met my, actually I met my husband when I was 12. Wow. Um, wow. Yes. Met my husband in day camp, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes, That's amazing. <laughs> yes. And, um, and we've been married for, you know, well over 40 years. Wow. Um, he's a, a physician. He's a radiation oncologist. Mm -hmm. And I have two children. Um, Brian, who's 40 and is um, a um, gastroenterologist, mm -hmm. and my younger son, Michael, um, who's an attorney. Oh, okay. He's 36. And um, so from, from that, I, I, I was that proverbial stay-at-home mom, very involved in PTA, mm -hmm. um, and that led to a very active interest in the schools, and I became a member of the, uh, an elected member of the Great Neck Board of Education. Mm -hmm. And I served on the Great Neck Board of Education for 16 years. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's a position that's not compensated. Mm -hmm. um, and I served as president for five years and vice president for many years oh. as well. And uh, while I did that for uh, several years, I worked for then Assemblyman Tom Denapoli. Okay. I was a special projects coordinator. Mm -hmm. um, and then Tom went on to be our New York State Comptroller. Um, and I learned so much from working in his office because he's a man of great integrity right. and sets a standard of, of what a government office should be mm -hmm. and what the commitment to the people should be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was asked to run for the Nassau County Legislature, which I did. Mm. Um, and it was a real grassroots um, initiative. Um, and I served on the legislature for six years, mm -hmm. uh, representing the 10th Legislative District, mm -hmm. Great Neck, Manhasset, Manhasset Hills, a good portion of Herrick's. Um, and then was asked to run for supervisor, and here I am. Here you are, huh? Yes, I am. Oh, wow, yes. very nice. So, right. uh, who was your, uh, I mean, Tom DiNapoli was your political mentor, as I see. 
I have two very important mentors right, um, yeah. as I went through. One mm -hmm. certainly was, was um, Controller Dinavli, and the other was the superintendent of the Great Next Schools, Bill Shine, oh, okay. um, who I worked very, very closely with. Mm -hmm. his, uh, mm -hmm. Also, I learned so much from both of them about the need for open and transparent government and mm -hmm. making sure that you're responsive to the people that you represent. Mm -hmm. So as I see, Judy, you, know, you don't have to go out of your home to do a lot of things except the accounting. Right, I mean, you have a doctor in your, you know, in oh. your family. You have an attorney in your family. You have a political person in your family. Yes, yes. And if you need an accountant, I can do that for you. Well, they, now I'm set. There you go. You're set <laughs> <Right>. now. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. So, what is the difference between, like, you know, you were a legislator for the Nassau County, and now you're a supervisor? So, tell us the the differences, you know, between your duty then and duty now. Well, I'll tell you what's the same. Yeah. I'll start with the same is having the honor of representing people mm -hmm. and um, understanding the need to treat everybody with respect, mm -hmm. to understand that everybody's concerns are important mm -hmm. and they must be listened to and responded to. Mm -hmm. um, of course, there are many differences because as a legislator that's in the legislative branch and so you're voting on um, different initiatives. Right. Um, as the supervisor, Mm -hmm. um, I'm also doing that because at the town council, the town council is comprised of um, six council members as well as a supervisor. So I'm still voting on things. Right. But I now have um, an executive function as well. Mm -hmm. So I have the ability to set the agenda, to um, have far more input as to what is important, what we want to see go forward you mm -hmm. know, in the town. I mentioned mm -hmm. open and transparent government, mm -hmm. environmental initiatives, mm -hmm. you know, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But the thing that is the same is is, is the representing people. Of, of people. Larger number of people than a yes. smaller number of people, when, right? Um, basically, basically. I, absolutely. When I uh, was a county legislator, I represented about 70,000 people. Right. And now as town supervisor, I represent about 230,000 people. Mm -hmm. So yes, that is a very big difference. That's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Plus management, you have to manage the whole town I government. Am. Right? I am. So you're yes. very and good. I'm loving every second of it. All right, all yeah. right. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Well, for, I mean, of course, you know, wanted to give you congratulations for that. Thank you. you. Know. Anyway. So uh, uh, let's talk about first 150 days uh, that, and I know you have accomplished a lot in first 150 days, oh, you. and you had set your marks before even you became a supervisor, and you've been able to accomplish a lot of those. So can you describe us what are some of the major accomplishments for 150 days? I'm so glad you asked, <laughs> and I'd <laughs> love to. Well, I will tell you that you know on day one at the office, I was right. hit with a blizzard. And we actually had 17 snowstorms wow. um, since I've been in office. So that, that was, you know, an immediate challenge. Uh, and that was a great thing. It wasn't great that, that people were inconvenienced and, and we had to deal with it. But it really started the administration off. You know, we hit the ground running. Very first day in office, you know, I had a meeting with all my commissioners to talk about strategies for dealing with the snowstorm and, and, and making sure that mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. streets were plowed, that mm -hmm. the streets were safe. Mm -hmm. for pedestrians and for those in cars. And, and so we did that. And so, you know, normally that's not what you talk about as an accomplishment, but it's something we were very proud of mm -hmm. because it was certainly a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. One of the things, and, and, and I now mentioned it a few times, um, is wanting to make sure that we have open and transparent government. Okay. So one of the very first things that I did at the first town board meeting right. was I moved the comment period mm -hmm. from the end of the meeting to mm -hmm. the beginning of the meeting. So that meant that if people wanted to come and address the town board, mm -hmm. they no longer had to wait till the entire meeting was over. Oh. They could do it right at the beginning. Because you know sometimes our meetings go till 10 o'clock, sometimes they go to 11 o'clock, and sometimes they go to 1.30 in the morning. Yep, I, so, yeah, yes. I'm aware. <laughs> yes. So you, we, you know, we wanted to make sure that if somebody had an issue that they wanted to address uh, to the town council, mm -hmm. that they'd be able to do so. You mean within the schedule? It, the very Anytime. first thing. No. Nope. Oh, very first a, thing. a half hour of, of comment for people who want to talk about things that are okay. not on the calendar. Okay. okay. And so they are able to do that in the very first half hour. Okay. As we discuss different calendar items, mm -hmm. there's always an opportunity for people to Oh, comment. okay. Um, the next thing that we did mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. we are now live streaming our town board meetings. Okay. And we're the only town in Nassau County mm. that does that. Very nice. Um, and, and I have to say, it wasn't you know only my idea because we did that 
you know, when I was a county legislator, our meetings were live streamed. Right. And I thought, well, you know, why shouldn't we be doing that at the town? Mm -hmm. So that now if someone wants to just know what's going on, mm -hmm. all they need to do mm -hmm. is, you know, go to their computer, log on. Mm -hmm. They can watch on their computer, smart, uh, a smart pad, mm -hmm. a smartphone. And, and they're able to see, mm -hmm. as the meeting mm -hmm. is unfolding, exactly mm -hmm. what's happening and who's saying what. Mm -hmm. So we thought those were very important initiatives. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The other thing that we're doing in terms of technology, because I know that's a great interest of yours for right. sure, um, is we introduced an app called the My North Hempstead app. Right. So that um, people have more direct access to government service. Mm -hmm. They can um, take a picture of a pothole. Mm -hmm. And it will get sent directly to the department with the mm -hmm. coordinates of the pothole so we know exactly where mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. um, they can mm -hmm. even do um, requests for tea times at Harbor Links. Mm -hmm. there, so there are all different mm -hmm. services that they can do right on mm -hmm. their smartphone. Mm -hmm. um, of course, they can still call 311, which is right. a, a wonderful program <laughs> right. you know, that the town has. But mm -hmm. again, important to find different ways for people to communicate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. We've, um, we're in the process of revamping our website mm -hmm. so that forms that people might need to have, they can download Online, easily right. now. Right, right. Um, one mm -hmm. of the things that, that mm -hmm. I had joined, I could just keep going, Ben. And no, I was, that's okay. <laughs> um, you know, one of the things that mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. talked about while I was campaigning, mm -hmm. this is not political, but it's just you know, part of, of promises that were made mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. was to address some of the issues in the building department. Oh, right, right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the building department had, had some difficulty years back, mm -hmm. and it needed to be addressed, and it was addressed, so mm -hmm. that uh, any hint of corruption, that was definitely taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was phase one, dealing with a lot of the issues that mm -hmm, the building mm -hmm. department had to do. With, had a, a commissioner who really... Um, served with great distinction. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But there was a sense that the building department needed to be more consumer friendly. Right. Right. And so we worked hard mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. try to, to make changes in that direction. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. one of the things that I did, and I'm sorry, I announced it in my uh, swearing in speech, right. uh, was the appointment of an applicant advocate. Mm -hmm. And her name is Lauren Suma. Okay. And so that is someone who is there. Mm -hmm. So if someone's having an issue with getting a permit, getting their you know site plans reviewed, getting a certificate of op uh, occupancy, mm -hmm. they call Lauren and she helps them. She walks them through, and they they find that there's someone who's speaking to them one on one, who reports to me. She mm -hmm. reports to the supervisor's office, Directly. not the building department. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and has has been a great mm -hmm. help. Mm -hmm. What we've also done um, in an effort to make government service more available mm -hmm. is we've instituted evening mobile evening business hours oh. so Lauren along mm -hmm. with some people from the building department mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we had phase one where we went to several libraries in different communities mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people could go with questions that they had mm -hmm. and they could either be addressed right then and there mm -hmm. or they'd mm -hmm. be looked into and, and, and the people would be uh, you know would be uh, gotten back to mm -hmm. that was so successful that we've now launched a second uh, row hmm. of them, wow. and again, you know, Lauren and the building department um, are going to different areas in the community mm -hmm. so that people have the opportunity, number one, to meet in a perhaps less intimidating environment, mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. as meeting in the evening because right. the people work. And, yeah, yeah. So, so, mm -hmm. and, and and that has been you know a mm -hmm. great success as well. Mm -hmm. so these are all very innovative ideas, Judy. I, mean, I know. Did you, did you, did you had it or <laughs> you just came up with this, well, all this thing? Or? I will tell you, I have a wonderful team. And, you know, nobody does anything alone. Um, we have wonderful town council members. Right. Uh, I have wonderful senior staff members. Right. And we've, we're working very hard right. to make sure that um, mm -hmm. we're responsive mm -hmm. and that we're bringing services mm -hmm. to the community. Mm -hmm. One of the things also that we're very proud of is that we have mm -hmm. established a five-year capital plan. Okay. Right. Okay. And that is now um, something that's online if people want to take a look at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. every project that we're hoping to do this year right. is listed, the funding source is listed, the grants that are associated are mm -hmm, attached mm -hmm, to it. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So people can know exactly what we're planning on doing this year mm -hmm. and what we hope to do in the next you know years to come. Um, many of these projects deal with uh, infrastructure needs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also with clean water and green initiatives. Right. So that uh, we're making sure that 
grants that were about to expire mm -hmm. are actually being used because, you know, if the federal government or the state government awards you money to use for projects in, in, in the town, right. we want to make sure that we're using that money and using it well. Good, so that you can reapply and get another grant. You know, and that's a great, great point because one of the things that mm -hmm. we're doing is a remediation of the Ross right. ponds. Um, and that is mm -hmm. a three-phase uh, project. Mm -hmm. And so by going down to Washington and advocating and showing them that this is now in our capital plan for this year mm -hmm. with, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, bond, the necessary bonding appropriated, mm -hmm. they see we're serious about doing it mm -hmm. and hopefully will make us successful in getting further funds to, to, to do more of that work. Good, good, very good, very good. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Wonderful. Please stay with us. Welcome back to Interviews That Matter. I'm your host, Raj Mehta. We are having a wonderful conversation with the town of North Hampshire Supervisor, Judy Baswood. Welcome, ma'am. Well, thank you. So let's let's talk a little bit about, okay, you mentioned about Lawrence Suma, who is the uh, uh, kind of a coordinator uh, for uh, issues with the building departments, basically, correct? So her, her official That's her applicant advocate, because she is there Right. to help with, with people who, who have applied for oh. various things at the building department. So if anyone wants to reach her, mm -hmm. what is the best way to reach her? Best way is to call 311. You know, we haven't spoken about that. The town mm -hmm. has a wonderful system mm -hmm. called 311. Okay. And it, the, the, the great thing about that is if mm -hmm. you have an issue, whether it's building department or anything, mm -hmm. you call 311 and it's mm -hmm. not that you're saying, no, now you have to call this person, now you have to call that person, you immediately get connected with the person you need to speak with. Mm -hmm. And if you have a particular concern, uh, what 311 does, they write down the concern and they issue what's called an SR, a service request. Mm -hmm. So you get a service request number mm -hmm. and now there's a record of the concern that you're expressing. Mm -hmm. And so we mm -hmm. follow up on that, we mm -hmm. see if it's been addressed, um, mm -hmm. but so certainly the best way to reach Lauren Suma Mm -hmm. And anybody at the town is by calling 311. Okay, so any issue anyone has, if they call 311, Absolutely. describe the issue, and based on that, the operator will be able to assign that's the right. SR number yeah. and route to the right person. Exactly. exactly. Okay, that's that's good to hear that. Efficient. Efficient. Yeah, perfect. And sometimes, perfect. even if somebody will speak to me, mm -hmm. I will say to them, now please call 311. Mm -hmm. so that there's now a service request and there's an official mm -hmm. record. Mm -hmm. So you talk to a lot of people. I do. Speak with a lot of people. How many hours do you have? 25 in a day? You know, or 28? I, I will tell you that sometimes it feels that way. People want to know why they get emails from me at 3 in the morning. <laughs> and I say it's because the only time I have to do it. Oh, my that. gosh. But Very dedicated. Very you know, nice. I, Very good. It's such an honor to do this. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But you feel from your heart. I mean, that's more important. See, yeah. I mean, if you do... If you do something with your heart, then it, then it's that's it. I mean, that's what you do actually. You know, my feeling about public service. Yeah. Is you have to love people. Yeah. And you really want to be there to help. Yep, um, I totally agree. That's the way I sing. I sing from I know, my heart. I know you do. <laughs> and that's why you do what you do. You'd have no seriously. No, I have, have to. Yeah, I have to do it from my heart yeah. because that's how we are in business for 27 years and you know, successful business. So we do a lot of work. And yep. by having these interviews, it's such a wonderful way of introducing different elected officials and, and, and different government people mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. to, to, the, to, to your to, audience. To the and, right. and, and it it really helps uh, them with information that they otherwise might not have had. Yeah, so I, it's a great service that you're providing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was the intention, actually, to, you know, viewers can see something and use something, basically. That's the Absolutely. key for this yes. program. So let's talk about the finances of the town of North Hampshire. Yes. You know, like why when you um, uh, started, uh, you know, January one, mm -hmm. what was then and what is now? Well, it's um, only 150 days, but I'm still asking you. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, I did my state of the town. You know, four weeks after I was there, right. and we had a lot of things to say. So, mm -hmm. although mm -hmm. 150 days doesn't seem like a lot. You know, it, it is, and we have accomplished a lot. Right. But I will say we've accomplished a lot, but we came into such a strong government. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I came 
into a government that had been led by um, the legendary May Newberger right. um, for 10 years and right. then followed by the wonderful John Kamen right. for 10 years you know, mm -hmm. after that. So it came into a government mm -hmm. that was strong, mm -hmm. that had mm -hmm. a bond, a double A1 mm -hmm. bond rating, which mm -hmm. was the strongest bond rating mm -hmm. um, in the history of the town. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud to say that we have maintained mm -hmm. that bond rating and okay. uh, you know, through very fiscally conservative right. um, planning. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I was very proud that Moody's had the confidence that we would be continuing that, and mm -hmm. I, I'd like to see that even you know turn into a triple A mm -hmm. um, rating. You know, I can say that you know when you start new people, you know, with me. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. the thing that I was very mm -hmm. um, intent upon is that any any uh, additional staff that I brought in was done in a budget neutral way. So we have a double A one bond rating, which right. we're very proud of, and it is the highest uh, mm -hmm. in the town of mm -hmm. history, as was mm -hmm. set, you know, under John mm -hmm. Kamen's administration. And mm -hmm. you know, my goal is is to get us up to triple A. So we'll have to to work very hard uh, mm -hmm. to do that. What does it mean to the people? Well, what it means is that when we do capital projects, the, right. the preferred way of doing capital projects right. is to do it through bonding, right? Um, okay. As opposed to doing it through the uh, you know operational budget, so right. the people who are going to be using it for years down the road are right. also those that will be paying for it. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. higher your bond rating, the lower the interest rate is. So, so that's where they get to save money. So, so that's where they you know also get to save money. One of the things that we did right. is we refinanced right. um, our uh, four million dollars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. re refinanced about eleven million dollars. Um, mm -hmm. Of bonds and mm -hmm. save uh, mm -hmm. in the process of saving millions of dollars of bonds, mm -hmm. you know, over the period, um, mm -hmm. you know, of the bond. So mm -hmm. we're, you know, we're looking at cost saving uh, measures to to make sure that that we're spending our money wisely. Um, you know, mm -hmm. we're all in what's now called a tax cap era, right? So that uh, right. you know, all municipal governments are functioning mm -hmm. under not mm -hmm. wanting to pierce. It's either a two percent tax cap. Actually, this year for the town, it's a 1.6 percent. Oh, okay. Um, you know, tax cap. Mm -hmm. So it it uh, it challenges mm -hmm. you to make sure that you're spending your money wisely. And if you're going to do one thing, it means you may not be doing something else. Right, right. Okay. So that's why bond rating is more important. Yes, to, bond rating is very important to cut the cost and to really you know save money on interest, Absolutely. basically whatever the town borrows. Exactly. And that at the end of the day, taxpayer saves money. It, without question, and that's right. the goal. So you mentioned that you know uh, May Newberger ten years, John came in ten years. This is your first term, first year. My first one hundred fifty days. <laughs> <laughs> so ten years, you're good for ten years. I take it one day at a time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that that's how I view it. But I, I'm loving what I do, and I certainly um, mm. have had uh, a lot of encouragement from mm. many people. Uh, we we live in a wonderful town. Right. With people who um, are vital and are committed to this great town of North Hempstead. Good. It's your team, basically, right? It and you absolutely. select the team, and you make it, make them to do leadership, basically. You know, we're a family. Right. And, you know, as in families, you may have little spats. Yep, you know, yep, that can yep, happen. Yep, yep. But, but the important thing is that in this town, we care about each other. Right. And we want to find ways of, of working together to make the town the very best it can be. You know, exactly same approach I have in our company, Infosys, is we call it Infosys Family. That's same it. approach, mm -hmm. that we are a family, you know, that's it. And we want to do good for our customers. That's our bottom line. And that's why you're so successful. That, that's why we are trying to do the best yeah. we can, right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So tell us, the, tell us your, like right now it's only 150 days. Tell us your vision for the town. Where do you see the town is going in two years? Well, I am a, uh, I'm very devoted to environmental issues. Okay. So one of the things that I'm mm -hmm. concerned mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. is making sure that our aquifers are protected, that our drinking water is protected. And so we're, you know, even in our capital plan, it, it um, reflects that in terms of doing infrastructure, mm -hmm. you know, projects to ensure clean water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we have uh, many issues uh, that, that deal with that. Mm -hmm. I believe mm -hmm. that it's important for our young people to be mm -hmm. aware of the environment mm -hmm. because so much begins right at that level. So the town has a, mm -hmm. a very a wonderful recycling program. Okay. It's in nine out of the 11 school districts you know, in the town. Mm -hmm. What I've mm -hmm. added to that is the idea mm -hmm. of water mm -hmm. conservation. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so we have had um, mm -hmm. uh, a t-shirt concert uh, uh, competition uh, 
in, in terms of saving water, so it's slow the flow, save H2O. Mm -hmm. um, and we also had a video contest, and, and the winners of, of, of that contest, mm -hmm. those videos will be on North Hempstead TV, mm -hmm. um, so that, mm -hmm. that as children are young, they understand the need to conserve water. Mm -hmm. And you can do it as simply as don't have the water running while you're brushing your teeth. Mm -hmm. You know, take a shower instead of a bath, and if you're taking a shower, limit the amount of time that that you are showering right make sure you're not watering you know your lawn every day make sure you're not watering your lawn when it's raining you know right. diff different things mm -hmm. water is our mm -hmm. most precious resource right and we mm -hmm. need to make sure that mm -hmm. we are in fact conserving it mm -hmm. um, we have water all around us so we I you know one of the things that I'm concerned about is making mm -hmm. sure that we have a plan for the development along our waterways mm -hmm. so that that involves again uh, making sure that there's dredging in Hempstead Harbor and Manhasset Bay so that we can encourage um, the waterfront business and, mm -hmm. and recreation. Mm -hmm. um, and also to make sure that North Hempstead is seen as a place that is friendly to mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. We want to have people know that they can come here, that mm -hmm. they will be welcome, that our, biz that our building department will be working with them mm -hmm. so that they mm -hmm. can do whatever um, things that they need to do to renovate. Mm -hmm. um, and they can do it in a timely way. Mm -hmm. um, it's important to establish that environment of openness, welcoming, mm -hmm. um, an environment that supports business, mm -hmm. an environment that supports our envi in our environment, right. um, and uh, you know goes goes forward in that way. And you know the other thing is also to make sure that mm -hmm. we're listening, so mm -hmm. that when mm -hmm. people have mm -hmm. ideas, when mm -hmm. they have concerns. Mm -hmm. that we're listening and that we're able mm -hmm. to respond to them. Mm -hmm. So film industry, right? I mean, you know, yes. the town of North said, I guess, you know, it's very active in film industry it or is. getting active rather, you know. It is very active. Uh, because it's generated a lot of money for the mm -hmm. Nassau County. Well, and it, it has done, at the, when I was at the county, mm -hmm. wonderful, you know, studio in Beth Page. Right, um, exactly. The town of North Hempstead has all these... A lot of locations. And, exactly. Yep. And so, mm -hmm. you know, the mm -hmm. permits mm -hmm. are issued through our clerk's office okay. for filming, but mm -hmm. we also now have a wonderful uh, business and tourism department mm -hmm. um, that mm -hmm. is also, you know, looking to make sure that the word is out there that we are, in fact, mm -hmm. um, open mm -hmm. to business. And, and want to encourage mm -hmm. filming as well. Well, why I mention that, because I acted in a small movie shoot, shot right here in, in our Nassau County. Rather. See, there's no end to what you do, Raj. That's wonderful. <laughs> you know, the last taxi driver. You know, it was a small role I did. Wow. Well, it was, it was fun. It was fun, though. Uh, <laughs> you know? Right, great. right, yeah. So, we'll have uh, to get you in a film that's uh, in North Hempstead as well. I'm always open. There you go. I have no, Maybe is, I have no issues. Right. <laughs> mm. So let's talk about involving the communities. Like, you know, there are some sensitive projects like, you know, PSENG poll, you know, putting in a Port Washington. And how did you get community involved in that? And how did you, what are the issues there, basically? I'm so, I really am glad you asked this because mm -hmm. one of the things that I'm so committed to is community right. involvement, making sure that the community is aware of right. issues, aware of things that are happening. Right. So I take office January 1st. My first day is January 2nd. And in addition mm -hmm. to dealing with a blizzard, we're setting the calendar mm -hmm. for the January 7th meeting. Mm -hmm. And I'm told that, mm -hmm. oh, well, this is going to be on the calendar, and it was to vote on solar panels mm -hmm. that were going to be placed on the landfill mm -hmm. in Port Washington. Mm -hmm. And the very first question I asked was, mm -hmm. does the community know about this? Mm -hmm. And, you know, the answer was... Uh, not so much. <laughs> and I said, well, then it can't go on the calendar. And I was told, no, no, you know, it has to. It's, we're applying for a grant. It must go on. And I, and so I said, so I, I just want to get this straight. If the supervisor says the item doesn't go on the calendar, it goes on anyway. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so, in fact, it did not go on. Right. And right. the, uh, so it was supposed to be uh, January 7th. January 8th, we actually had a meeting, right. a public meeting, mm -hmm. to discuss mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. um, and it raised more questions than there were answers. Mm. So then there was an additional meeting, you know, a scheduled town board meeting mm -hmm. on January 14th. And again, mm -hmm. the the answers weren't sufficient for us to vote for it because it would have actually mm -hmm. um, installed 12,000 solar panels okay. on these landfills. Mm -hmm. um, and although I'm a great proponent of alternative energy right. and would love to see solar panels mm -hmm. in North Hempstead, mm -hmm. it's got to be done 
following the right process and procedure. Mm -hmm. So that was one thing. Mm -hmm. Then the next project that came to light mm -hmm. was um, some uh, contaminated water in, in, in another district mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. uh, as it turned out, the community didn't know very much about. Mm -hmm. And so we had, although we don't have oversight over water districts because they, they have their own elected commissioners, right. we, we do authorize the bonding. And so mm -hmm. we uh, mm -hmm. suggested very strongly Mm -hmm. that the community be involved mm -hmm. in that, mm -hmm. you know, and it was. Mm -hmm. And then we have our PSEG polls. Right, right. And so we, uh, you know, I, again, I come into office and have a meeting with Dave Daly, who's the president of, mm -hmm. of PSEG, PSEG Long, Island. Right, Long Island. Right. Um, and mm -hmm. as we're having the meeting, basically, the polls are going up around us. And we were very surprised because we knew nothing about it. We were mm -hmm. finding mm -hmm. out about it really as the mm -hmm. polls were going mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm. which you know led people to be a little skeptical. How how could you not have known? Mm. We didn't know. Wow. And so that raised a number of questions, especially about community input, mm -hmm. community knowledge, mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. We did um, arrange with Mr. Daly to attend a meeting on, it was March 24th, I remember it well, mm -hmm. to talk about exactly mm -hmm. what was happening. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he was there, as, as, as well as many uh, of his staff members, mm -hmm. to answer questions. Uh, there were many people who were outraged at the idea of 80-foot poles going up, and nobody knew anything about it. Wow. Um, there are mm -hmm. many in the community that would like to see the mm -hmm. wires mm -hmm. put underground. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually mm -hmm. hired a consultant mm -hmm. to give us some information, because otherwise mm -hmm. we were just reliant upon PSEG to get this information. Right. Uh, so we've done a lot of outreach to try to get as mm -hmm. much information as we can. Um, mm -hmm. Assemblywoman Schimmel and uh, Senator Martins mm -hmm. were very instrumental in setting up a meeting with us with the mm -hmm. head of the Department of Public Service, okay. who came to North Hempstead uh, mm -hmm. to, to hear our concerns mm -hmm. and is in mm -hmm. the process of issuing reports looking into this. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, there really is no oversight. Mm -hmm. It's a state public authority right. that hired a private utility wow. to do this. And right. um, you know what I, what I found interesting was that out of the 213 polls that are being, being uh, mm -hmm. that now are put up, right. uh, 23 of them are mm -hmm. on the town of North Hempstead property. The rest are on state roads and some county roads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The majority of them mm -hmm. are on Northern mm -hmm. Boulevard and Port Washington Boulevard, right. which are state roads. Right. One of, there were there were many concerns, mm -hmm. but one concern was that the polls would not be ADA compliant, meaning that they wouldn't mm -hmm. comport to. Um, uh, standards mm -hmm. for those that disabilities, dis right? Uh, ha handicapped, handicapped or disabled. right? Yeah. Um, so what we did in the town mm -hmm. is we worked uh, with PSEG so that our highway superintendent mm -hmm. was at the installation of every pole, mm -hmm. measuring mm -hmm. to make sure that each pole was in fact mm -hmm. ADA compliant. Oh wow! Because okay. otherwise, they're in the middle of the of, of a sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Someone in a wheelchair can't get around. It's right. someone who's, ro who's oh. you know uh, pushing a baby carriage can't right. get around. Right. It. Right. Right. You know, right. mm. that, that's not a good thing. But as I can tell mm -hmm. you, the town of North Hempstead polls are, in fact, ADA compliant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another thing that, um, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. uh, came to mm -hmm. light was that the polls, and all polls, uh, mm -hmm. utility mm -hmm. polls, are treated mm -hmm. with um, a substance that mm -hmm. um, can, is considered a carcinogen. Mm -hmm. Now, it has the, uh, you know, it's got the approval of uh, the EPA, and the regulatory agencies say it's okay mm -hmm. to use it, but the thing that people need to know is that if you come into contact with these poles, you must wash your hands. Wow. Um, and that's wow. something that, I, you know, I was hoping PSEG would put out there. Um, right. You know, they're not, they, if, if you look it up, it'll say, it'll say that, but it's not mm. information that's, you know, readily available. So we're doing what we can to make sure that people understand that if they come into contact, whether it's children or adults, if they come in contact with these poles, that they must wash their hands. Oh, that's good to know because I never knew that. There you go. And all, all the poles have this, and as the poles right. are there for longer periods of right. time, right. they it, it becomes you know mm -hmm. less serious. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, it's something that you know. My feeling is, if I have that information, right. you should have that information. Right, right. I agree. I agree with you. So we make every effort, anything that we do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a long way of getting to answer your question. Right, is to make sure that the public is aware of it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have one meeting more right. to make sure that people have the knowledge that they right. need so that they understand what we're doing and they have mm -hmm. the opportunity 
to give us a to build a consensus basically Absolutely. right i mean that's the way to do it anyway you have right to build to consensus do. right way to do it you've got to work in a collaborative mm -hmm. way right exactly and, and and i'm proud to say that 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 really is what we're doing we have a town mm -hmm. council that's made up of democrats mm -hmm. and republicans right that work very well together good that are, are, are working mm -hmm. in a in a collaborative way good good now, you know, in town of North Hempstead, we have a largest Asian American, Indian American population there. And I know you've been involved with us for a long time. Yes, um, my, my privilege. And I started Diwali celebration about 10 years ago under the, with the help of Supervisor Cayman. Uh, we hope to continue that. It comes in November, October, November time frame. Uh, what do you think, I mean, how our community can help you and what community can get help from the town? So um, the Indian community, right. the Indian American community, is such a vital force mm -hmm. in the town of North Hempstead. And I think, you know, it, it first um, started, uh, I, I think Indian Americans first started coming to, to North Hempstead probably about 40 years ago. Right. And in those 40 years, I'd mm -hmm. say there's probably not an area um, from India that is not now mm -hmm. represented in the town of North Hempstead. Mm -hmm. Fortunate for us. Yes. Because the community is a wonderful community, mm -hmm. um, appreciates um, good government, mm -hmm. um, is a great supporter of public education, understands how important public mm -hmm. education is, mm -hmm. such a, a vital force in, in, mm -hmm. in so much of, of our mm -hmm. business initiatives. And so, you know, you mentioned I have been going to uh, Diwali um, ceremonies at right. Bratri and, and, and so many of the different um, Indian um, right. celebrations. Yes. Um, and I, I think it's so important that, mm -hmm. of course, that that be continued. Um, they're mm -hmm. wonderful. They add so much to the mm -hmm. fabric of our community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and what I you know, also appreciate so is the commitment on the part of the Indian Americans to not only um, celebrate their culture and the diversity that they bring to our town, mm -hmm. but to share it with everybody. Because right. through that sharing, mm -hmm. we all have a better understanding and we become stronger. So I will look forward mm -hmm. to be working with you and, and other leaders in the Indian American community to make sure that those... Um, those efforts continue, mm -hmm. um, and I do that by mm -hmm. meeting with the leaders of the community, hearing mm -hmm. what concerns are, right. hearing how we can work together mm -hmm. to address the concerns. Mm -hmm. and, and so often the concerns are not just for one particular community, but any concern mm -hmm. usually becomes a larger you know, town concern, and, and we need to work together to make sure that, that all concerns are heard, listened to, mm -hmm. and, and addressed. You know, one of the things that, that we love, and we, we just had it, is, is Asian Fest, right. um, which is just a wonderful opportunity right. for so many of the um, different communities uh, represented by the um, uh, Indian Amer American population, the Korean American population, the Chinese American population, right. the Pakistani American, all the different, all um, different uh, you know, elements of uh, that that uh, mm -hmm. are uh, mm -hmm. uh, composed of. Uh, by the, by the Asian populations mm -hmm. um, that are here. And it's, it's just such a, an extraordinary day mm -hmm. of celebration, of um, hearing beautiful music, seeing the, the beautiful native garb, mm -hmm. uh, having the opportunity to taste all the wonderful different there you go. You know, <laughs> foods. Um, and, and I know that, that people, you know, not just Asian Americans, but mm -hmm. really the entire town mm -hmm. comes to, to this festival and, right. and enjoys and, so, and, and we celebrate together. And, mm -hmm. I, and I look forward to doing many of those things, continuing them and building on that. And th thank you so much because Diwali is like celebrated by 800 million Indians all over the world. So it's the largest uh, festival of lights for uh, uh, India. Um, so and, and it's it very is, important. It is very important, and it's it's uh, you know mm -hmm. I know when you know when I go to the festivals you right. you just you, you get drawn into the whole um, exactly which you do anyway you I, you I are there all the time yes <laughs> I love the dancing and, yep yep uh, yep I know I know yeah, right yeah and it's mm -hmm. it's a it's a very touching mm -hmm. ceremony mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, means so mm -hmm. much and mm -hmm. you know I, what what I find is very often the different celebrations mm -hmm. there are celebrations of other communities as well, whether right. it's the harvest or festivals of light, right. they're right. just, because we really mm -hmm. are brothers and sisters, and I think these mm -hmm. festivals mm -hmm. underscore mm -hmm. not only the diversity, but 
mm-hmm. the things that we have in common. Right, right, yeah. We had the largest election uh, just recently uh, in India, and uh, uh, 541 million people voted out of 840 million eligible voters. And the government who was who got elected, it's exactly the same what you just said, openness and good governance and economic development. That's the basic uh, mantra. And on, on that, you know, the government uh, which recently got elected, uh, it's got the majority and all that. So exactly well, what you just said. Yeah, and, and you know, the fact that so many people voted yeah. really is the will of the people. Yep, yep. And so it's so important, you know, going forward mm-hmm. that regardless mm-hmm. of who you vote for, yep. To underscore the need to mm-hmm. exercise your right to vote. Exactly. People have, you know, fought and died mm-hmm. to protect mm-hmm. that right. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it's the one time that you have an opportunity to weigh in and say, this is what I care about. Exactly. I agree. I agree with you. I mean, 67% vote. That's extraordinary. That's extraordinary. Really you know, extraordinary. Um, amazing. So it was pretty pretty. I mean, exciting for us, all of us here, especially people living here also in U.S., and everybody was so happy to have with the new government. Well, you know, we, we all look at the Indian democracy. There you go. Um, and, yes. and we look at it with, with wonder mm-hmm. and, and mm-hmm. with great pride. Well, we really appreciate your time today that you have taken today and explained us what happened and how is going to, what is your vision about the future of the town of North Hempstead, how you want to get involved uh, other communities and we, we, we do appreciate it. And well, especially your uh, hard work, honesty, and uh, from the heart, thank whatever you. you do. Thank you. Such a pleasure to be here. So I want to wish you all the best. Thank you. And you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, comments, you can email me at rajmitv at gmail.com. That's again rajmitv at gmail.com. If you can watch our prior shows on YouTube at youtube.com slash Infosys International. Again, that youtube.com slash Infosys International. Until next time, have a great week.